Josh Miller writes, Collider Crew. Everyone mentions when the book is better than the movie, like The Hobbit, The Hunger Games, etc. The list goes on. But when were the movies better than the books? The only one I can think of is Silence of the Lambs. Can you think of any others? Keep up the goodness. I mean, I can think of a lot. To quote the great Jim Gaffigan, it's because there's no reading, so movies are always better. <laughs> Maybe not. That, that's not necessarily the case. I'm sure there's a lot of books that have been better than movies. I'm trying to think. I think did they make an Animal Farm movie? If so, it was not as good as George Orwell's book. They made a couple. I'll give you that. But there is, there's inarguable examples the other way, too. Jaws was actually based on a novel. Peter Benchley's novel turned into the masterpiece that was Steven Spielberg's 1975 classic Jaws. Um, I was also thinking about another one that I'll have to come back to. Dennis, what do you um, got? For me, it's not exactly a book, but it's a comic book. And I know some fans are going to get upset when I uh -oh. say this. X-Men Days of Future Past, the movie, was better than the comic book one. I remember reading it when I was younger. I was like, oh, this is so awesome. So I, I bought the digital version before the, the movie had come out, and I reread it. And it's, like, really short. It's, mm -hmm. like, two issues. And it doesn't – not like – it was still good, but it was just – it didn't have the story that, right. that the movie had. And they even kind of tricked you because – they, they're like, they always show you how many pages a, a comic book has before you buy it. They actually threw in the issue before Days of Future Past that had nothing to do with the storyline. They were up in Canada hanging out with Alpha Flight. I was very upset. So that's one that the movie is better. Schnapp, we know you're a huge fan of the book, Fifty Shades of Grey. What did the movie do for you? Oh, boy. Well, first of all, Dennis. You know, can't can't be ripping on the Claremont burn run. I'm not ripping on. No, I'm just I know. Saying the I know you're saying. It was pretty thin. It was thin. It was just a different, entirely different film. Uh, for me, I would say uh, I'd love to bring this up. Uh, Do androids dream of electric sheep? Is a completely different uh, story than what became Blade Runner. So Blade Runner was based on that book by Philip K. Dick. It's a very different book. I mean, it has certain things that are similar and a lot of things that are not similar. There's the memories and there's spider dreams and things like that. But that one comes to mind. And then I'll say something that might piss off some uh, diehard fans. I actually love David Lynch's Dune. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't a big fan of Frank Herbert's Dune. It just, I couldn't get hooked into it. Maybe I tried reading it. It was like way too young. But for some reason, I could not get that into the, the Dune books as much as I loved the, the weirdo David Lynch Dune with everyone talking in their mind. Is he the Quetzalcoatlix? <laughs> Such a weird film. Uh, Clockwork Orange is one where oh, I yeah. like the movie more than the book. The book's still great, but yeah. uh, uh, the, the visual style that Kubrick brings to it, it you don't see that in the in You know the what's book. great about that is that Kubrick just, he didn't even have a script. He just brought the book around, yeah. and they just shot the book. He did cut the ending off, too, though. Yeah, well, I mean, there's some changes, <laughs> yeah. but I, I, yeah, that's a good one, too. That's Clockwork pretty cool. I think Orange. The Shining, too. I mean, I know Stephen King wasn't a big fan of what Hated Kubrick it. did with Hated The Shining, it, yeah. but The Shining movie is pretty tough to beat. There's going to be a good competition in a couple of years between the book versus the movie Ready Player One because everybody loves that novel, but Steven Spielberg working on that movie, that could be a masterpiece. I also just remembered Casino Royale, too, was like one of the original Bond books before it was the movie that we saw fairly recently with Daniel Craig, and Forrest Gump was based on a novel. I can't imagine that novel. I'm sure it was great. It was as good as the movie that, yes, beat Shawshank Redemption. Sorry, that's how it went down. Life is like a box of books, right? <laughs> so back to one. Chocolate. <laughs> Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.